Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Selenix Crypto. I hope you're all doing great and welcome to this new video on High Street. Um, I wanted to make a video on that. I mean, in general, it's, it's been it's been very bullish in the last couple of days. Um, it's also been uncorrelated to the rest of the market. So I just wanted to um, just wanted to give you my thoughts on what's going on and also give you a little bit of a little bit of a warning. All right. Uh, because High Street has been very bullish and it's a, it's, it's a re, it's, it's a real project. All right. But the thing is, and that's also something you can see historically. High Street historically is a bit of a manipulated coin, right? If you, for example, look in December, uh, but also right here at the beginning of March or right here at the, the real beginning of March, some of these were market moves, all right? So some moves where High Street just uh, followed the market and dropped down together with that. But some of these other moves were, were not that, all right? And just in general, High Street can actually have some big crashes. And the moves it, it gets very often are a bit manipulated. All right. You can also see if you look at where the volume is coming from, most of the volume is coming from exchanges, which I would not trust, like UEE, 4E, X Markets, Bitthumb, Orange X. So just be careful. All right. Because there is some manipulation going on with this. And what usually happens is that manipulators make money. So who loses money? Retail. You and I. Uh, but all right, I, I don't want to be too negative. I mean, if you, if you look at High Street right now, like I said, it is a real project after all as well. And since last week, Friday, so for the last week, it has been rallying and it has been super strong and it has been gaining momentum. Um, so I'm, I'm not going to be fully, fully bearish on High Street. I just want to tell you, and I do think that that's, that's very important. Be careful. All right. And apart from that, and this is the last thing I'll, I'll say about this. But apart from that, you can also see these, these big spikes down and these big uh, spikes up in open interest. That's also a sign that there are some, some whales, at least, playing around with the price. But all right, if we look at the current situation, what we are at is this major resistance level at 3.7. If you historically look at that level, that's quite a strong level. You can see, especially right here between 3.5 and let's say 3.75 right here is a major resistance level. And that's the level we're trying to break above. So the main question is, is can we break above that? And I have to say, even though I do have my doubts about the momentum that High Street has right now, if you look at all the all the statistics, first of all, the price structure here is bullish. Um, the the overall for the the formation that it's that it's forming is also bullish. So what I mean with that is that usually when you make a top with a crypto, and the price drops down, we consolidate and then we get bullish again and we reach that top again. Usually we go higher. All right. Uh, so the, for, the the recent price structure is bullish. The formation that we're that, that's that's starting to form right now is bullish. And then apart from that, we're also gaining momentum. All right. So what I have to tell you, even though I do want to stress that you should be careful with this, um, what I have to tell you is that it's most likely just objectively seen that we will rally up higher, that we'll get that bullish breakout and rally up to the next main resistance level uh, between I would say 4.3 and 4.5. And again, you can you can also see that right here that's the main resistance level, especially 4.3. So that's what I think is most likely. And then from that level, we'll see again, uh, it's very much dependent on the open interest. If that starts to crash at that level, that's probably the top. If we can actually hold some, some open interest, hold some momentum, we can also rally up higher. Um, so if you do want to trade this, which I would advise against, um, wait for 3.75 or 3.7 to break because so far we haven't gotten the breakout yet. And in general, be careful for that crash, all right? Because eventually what's going to happen is that we're going to crash by like, well, 30, 20, 30, 40% at least. Um, so be careful for that. But like I said, right now, purely objectively, still looks great. So those are my thoughts. That's what I think you need to know. If you do have any questions, let me know down in the comments. But for now, thank you for watching. Take care and bye.